All right, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Awashai, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Awashai, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Awashai, Kohala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rakakudash. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures and salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And, um, you know, this is going to be something quick because I was meditating, you know, I was reading the book of Kings in this. And it's a it's a prayer that King Solomon, who we know to be um, Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, it's a prayer that he put up for us, man. All right. You also have Moses that prayed for us. All right. So the signs that we're coming into, man, we we don't have nothing to worry about, man. We we've been prayed for <laughs> from 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 thousands of years back, man. Okay, because the the this is prophetic. The things that's happening on the earth, all right, especially. Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans waking up to the fact that we're the children of Israel. All right, this was actually pro prophesied and prayed about. All right, we are, we are, we are in, uh, we're being watched by Yahweh Bashem Shai. So the Lord has never <laughs> actually left us. He, he's always had His eye on us. All right, wherever, wherever we are. All right, because we are, we are His people. It tells you that in uh, first, uh, first Kings eighth chapter. All right, but. Moses and King Solomon and, you know, as well as other prophets pray for us man, during these times, man. All right. They prayed for our well-being. They prayed for, for the Lord to have mercy on us. And that's what the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is doing as long as we continue to uh, do his will, man. Okay. So without further ado, I got a couple of scriptures. It's going to go into that fact, man. It's going to go and, and, and show you that we, we, <laughs> That, 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 that we're, we're favored with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh in these last days over any of the heathens and over Esau. Okay, we are we are favored to get saved. All right. Thing is that we have to endure to the end and continue to do the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh which is preach this truth. All right, with the spirit of prophecy. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter nine, verse twenty-four. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights as I fell down at the first, because the Lord has said he would destroy you. So Moses, all right, Moses was in the, the position to 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 uh come in before us to tell you how about Shem Yahweh Shai that uh, <laughs> to, to to let him know that we need salvation and to let him know that we, we need help and to not destroy us because you see our people we are Completely destroyed. The two thirds are completely gone. Our, our nation is 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 out of order. Is out of control. All right, half of our more than sixty percent of our nation they don't know who they are. Okay. A lot of our people know the Israel. They don't understand the severity. It's just you know that's why you have the elect, and this is who Moses. Yeah, this is who Moses, and this is who King Solomon and Yahweh Shai prayed for, man. All right, the elect that understand the the entirety of the scriptures. So in these last days, us men of Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down, we we have that 100% truth. We have that entirety, the entirety of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible and of our ancestors and of why the reasons we're in this, this predicament we're in, man. All right, and, and Moses and, and and King Solomon, who is Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai himself <laughs> in his next incarnation, all prayed that the Lord will have mercy upon us, man. All right, even though we are rebellious and sinful people, man, and that's what we're hoping to receive—the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, so Deuteronomy nine and twenty-five it says, "Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord has said He would destroy you. So the Lord was planning to destroy our nation, except for the remnant, which we're hoping to be a part of. All right, and Lord and Moses and King Solomon and Yahweh Shai, who are the same people, they all pray for us, man, in their incarnations. Okay. It says, I prayed therefore unto the Lord and said, O Lord, Yahweh, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou has redeemed through the greatness, through thy greatness, which thou has brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sins. So the Lord is praying. So Moses is praying to Yahweh, all right, to have Moses to have mercy on us, man. All right, and this this was back then now, but this extends to now because 
all the profits are back. All right. Everyone is back. So <laughs> you have to take into mind that Moses, all right, could possibly be here, all right, or in the or in the spiritual world, praying for us, praying for us continually, man. All right, because it, from from the spirit world, you can see the condition of our people. We're completely destroyed. We don't know who we are. All right. Well, sixty six per sixty six point six percent of our people are not going to come back to how they should be as an Israelite. All right, because Zechariah tells you two thirds are going to be cut off and die, but the one third is going to be <laughs> it's, it, it's going to be prayed for. The one third is going to, Lord willing, get, receive the mercy intended. For them, as prayed for by King Solomon, Moses, and Yahweh Shai. All right, we hope to be that remnant that's been prayed for, that's been uh, 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 uh that's been favored before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, all via these men. All right, all via the prayers of these men. Okay, now this is uh this is a prayer from King Solomon, man. This is a heavy one. All right, this is why it's this is why I read this, and it's just like you we don't we don't have nothing to worry about, man. Okay. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Lord one is going to have mercy on the remnant, all right, and the elect, which we hope to be, man, and, and we have a good chance of being that if we continue to push this word, man, and, and endure to the end, all right, and 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 endure the hour of temptation. This is what we all pray for, and 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 Yahweh Shai, King Solomon, and Moses prayed for us for the for that mercy, man, that we need. You see, first Kings eight and thirty three, when thy people Israel be smitten down before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house. So this is a prayer. All right. From King Solomon praying for us. All right. Now, from that first verse, you can see that it says, all right, it says when thy people Israel be smitten down. Before the enemy, and that's the case and situation we're in now. We're smitten down before the enemy. Our enemies are around about us, laughing at us. Are right, they? They're. They're. they're <laughs> they, but at this point in time, they're wondering how we woke up. You know, that's the big thing. But it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, because these prayers were prophetic as well, man. All right, the Lord will always remember His people, and, and that's what it tells you in First Kings, man. After uh, King Solomon prays to Yahweh Shai, or prays to the Lord, man. All right. Excuse me, because King Solomon, it's, you know, it's a, we don't want to get too deep, but King Solomon is Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. Now, that's for another lesson, but with that alone, man, that's powerful in itself, because if you don't understand that, then you're not going to really understand the scriptures, man, because that makes that that shows you how powerful this prayer is. OK. All right. First Kings 8 and 33, when thy people Israel be smitten down before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house. Then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. And that's what we're hoping for, man. All right. We're smitten down before the enemy, but now <laughs> we're praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. We're turning again to him and confessing his name. All right, his true name, not Jesus Christ. All right, and this is that's that shows you it's a pivotal point. That name, man, you have to be calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, we should be confessing his name and not hiding his name. It proves to you that what the the name, his full name, instead of Yah, instead of Yeshua, all right, his full name, him and his son shall be confessed. This is what the this is what the people in the in the last days would be doing, confessing the, the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and praying to it. All right, and make a supplication unto it in this house. Which house is that? The house of Israel. Okay. And this is what we would. This is what we've done in every captivity. And <laughs> Yahweh Bashem Yahshua sent someone and has to save us, man. And who is he sending in this last incarnation, in this last captivity in Babylon the Great? He's gonna send Yahweh Shai, the Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and that's going to be the Savior and Judge that 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 returns Israel to the Most High. And to their land, man. Okay, this uh, every captivity we've been in, and you know we would cry and confess the name of the Lord. This time it took a little longer because we we completely fell away from our heritage, man, in this captivity. But from the signs you're seeing all over the earth, all right, this truth and us praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, He's doing exactly what He says. So we've seen all the earthquakes. The 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 heathens are seeing all the chariots because the Lord is hearing our prayers, man.
Okay, so we don't have really anything to worry about. We're covered by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right. And by the prayers of all the, the, the great men of our nation, man. King Solomon being one of them, which is what I'm reading. First Kings 8 and 35. When heaven is shut up and there is no rain, because they have sinned against thee, if they pray towards this place, what's this place? Towards Israel, and confess thy name and turn from their sins when thou afflictest them, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and of thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk. And give rain upon thy land which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locusts, or if there be caterpillar, if there be if their enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all the people of Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hands towards this house. All right. So this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be proclaiming the name of Yahweh Shemiah and praying and hastening in the day that he comes and gets us, man, because through that is going to earn and usher in our salvation along with teaching this word man we're going to continually teach this word until we are made a praise in the earth and that's what the scriptures have demanded us to do and we're prayed for man okay king solomon himself here prayed for us all right for this to happen to us in any captivity any captivity we're in man and we're actually in the last one all right so we should be praying and, and proclaiming the name of yahweh bashemi al shai so that he can come receive us and give us a. <laughs> A, a glorious salvation, Lord willing, if we endure to the end, man. All right. Verse 39, First Kings 8 and 39. Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart thou knowest. For thou, even thou only knowest the hearts of all the children of men, that they may fear thee all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning a stranger that is not of thy people Israel, but coming out of a far, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm when he shall come and pray towards this house. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee as do thy people Israel. And that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. So that's what the, the world is seeing, man, because they're seeing that the things we're seeing all right, is actually happening. They're seeing that uh, they're seeing our people wake up. <laughs> they're, 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 they're hearing the, the proclamation of the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. All right. Now they're starting to fear, man. All right. A lot of a, a brother in South Carolina did a video on um, the comment of an Edomite all right, saying that, um, <laughs> The story of Esau is allegorical, which is, you know, complete bullshit. You know, we know that that's a people. All right. This Edomite said that that's a spirit. And that's a spirit in everyone. There's a spirit of Esau in everyone. Well, you know, this, that, that's also true. There is a spirit of Esau upon everyone. But Esau is an actual people that had to spread their energy. And it tells you that the, the nation of Edom is still a people. Ecclesiastes tells you there's no end of all the people. So there's actual a physical people and nation on the planet that descend from the man Esau. All right. And that brother, you know, cut that Edomite through the scriptures. And this is scaring them, man, because they can't deal with the truth, man. They can't confound prophecy or the truth. All right. And they're starting to fear the name of Yahweh Basham Shai because they're panicking, man. But this is because we're praying to Yahweh Basham Shai. It's because we're giving supplication to him and proclaiming his name. All right. And what is he going to do with that? He's going to. Do according to his word and, and, and give us salvation, which is, is soon to come, man. You see? Um, I'm going to skip down to... Skip down to 45. This is 1 Kings 8 and 45. Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. And thou be angry with them, and you can clearly see the Lord has been angry with us. But now he's he's remembering us, man, because he can't forget us. We're his people, man. All right, so that's why it's pivotal we push the word and, you know, study to show ourselves approved. All right, pray and hasten the day so the Lord sees that and he speeds things up, man. And that's what, but we're seeing everything speed up quickly. We're, speed, we're seeing the Lord work and work and work, man, all the way up until that last day. That's why this is pivotal, man. We got to keep going. 
All right. First Kings eight and forty six. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. And that's where we are. We're far from our land, man. The enemy has carried us away captive, man. But now, since the Lord says, "Pray to us, pray to me," all right. And when I hear it from your captivity, I will come and help thee, man. That's what the Lord is planning to do, and that's what is written all throughout the scriptures, man. Okay, especially here in this verse, man. So that tells you that also in um, Baruch the second chapter and the thirtieth verse that uh, we should remember ourselves in the land of our captivities and praise His holy name. You know, it's all a part of that, man. All right. Which shows you that we've been prayed for, man. All right, that we've been we the Lord the Lord knows and and the prophets of old and here as you can see King Solomon prayed to the Lord, all right, for this time, man, for for us to wake up and call upon His name and be saved, man. All right, so what we're doing is a fulfillment of prophecy, man, and it's it's beautiful, man. All right, Second King or First Kings eight and forty seven. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness. And that's what we're doing, man. We're repenting, all right, because we're in this situation for our own spirit, man. Whether it's whether it something from a past life or this life, all right, ultimately, all our people went off, and this is which, which is why we're in this position. So in some life we sin against Yahweh about Shemiah Al Shai continually every day because we can't keep these laws, man. All right. So that's why we're returning to the Lord with all our heart, with all our mind, to the best of our ability, so that we can get out of this place, man. Changing our spirit so the Lord sees this, man. So the angels record this, man. You see, First Kings eight and forty seven. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land. Of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivities, or Slaki, in the land of their enemies. Alright, so these are not our friends that were that are around about us. Which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and supplication in heaven. Thy dwelling place and maintain their cause, which is what the Lord is doing. All right, we're justified by the things we say. Why? Because all the things that we're saying is coming to pass. And you people are scrambling, you people are afraid. All right, he thought this was a joke, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, 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 is actually on his way. And we told you this, man, because we we're praying to get out of this place. And the Lord says, <laughs> and we've been prayed for. To the fact that uh <laughs> that we need help from Yahweh about Shimia Shai once this prayer these prayers goes up, man. This is what King Solomon is saying. Once they pray to you, Lord, please go save them. This is what this is the this is the, the prayer here. Alright, from King Solomon. Alright. First Kings eight and fifty, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captive. Which is what we we wish to receive as well, man. And a part of that compassion is this truth, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, not being able to be confounded because we have hundred percent truth, man. All right, other nations figuring out and finding out who we are, that we're the children of Israel. And next, the the, the other nations being destroyed and going into slavery for our sakes and for the things they've done for, done to us, man. That's the Lord having compassion on us. All right. And it says that they may have compassion on them, for they be thy people and thine inheritance. All right. Who? Who, Lord? Israel. And that cuts that any other nation is loved by the Most High. The Most High's favorite people is Israel. And we are the people that are to pray to him for salvation. Us only, the children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. First Kings 8 and 51. For they be thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest forth out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of iron. All right, and that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to get us out of this other Egypt. This is the last Egypt. All right, this is this place is spoken of in Revelations, the 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 place that is called spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All right, the fiery. This is another fiery furnace, another uh, captivity for us where we have no uh, power. So we need redemption, just like 
just like the first Egypt. All right, but in the end of the day, we're prayed for. All right, and the Lord has remembered us in these last days, which is why you see all the you're seeing all the prophecies come to pass, man. That sin that signifies that, man. Okay, this is Luke twenty two and twenty eight. This is Yahweh Shai. It says, "Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation." So we aren't to get weak, man, because we we we're, we're prayed for. We understand that you know Satan's going to try us. You know <laughs> that demon of doubt. You know the demon of trying the demon trying to pull us back into this world which is about to be destroyed all right but we are to stay in this truth okay because we're prayed for we're prayed for through <laughs> by moses we're prayed for by king solomon who is yahweh shy here in this verse man okay so what's happening on the what's happening on the earth is prophecy all right so all we have to do is narrate the scriptures man narrate the story of yahweh Bashim shy and his word all right Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So we're prayed for in all aspects, man. Okay? Now, this is 1 Kings 8 and 54. All right? It says, And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying all this prayer, this was the prayer that um that we previously read or up in the, the chapter, the 8th chapter of Kings. All right? Because it's a very good chapter if you want to go read it. Very, very deep and beautiful prayer. All right, from um from King Solomon for for us, the nation of Israel, man. We know King Solomon is Yahweh Shah, the say the actual savior being sent this time to receive us and save us out of this Egypt and and and, and hell hole that we're in, man. Which is why you're seeing all these chariots, man. He's gonna be the leader of that army. Okay, first Kings eight and fifty four, and it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of Yahweh from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread to heaven. So he was praying for us, man. All right, and he stood and blessed all the congregation of Israel with a loud voice, saying, "Blessed be Yahweh that hath given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that I all, all that he promised." There have not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Now, back then, King Solomon had 40 years of peace. All right. So the nation was at peace. But King Solomon is Jehovah Shai, who is the savior. So he watches for us and his prayers <laughs> were towards the nation of Israel in general, man. OK, all the way up until today, man. That's why he's being sent as a savior, the same spirit. All right. Who we know to come, who we know came back as Yahweh Shai, man. All right, King Solomon is the same spirit, is the same man as Yahweh Shai. King Solomon is Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, man. All right, who is the Savior? All right, First Kings eight and fifty five, and he stood and blessed all the congregation of Israel with a loud voice, saying, "Blessed be Yahweh that hath given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he hath promised." There have not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. The Lord, our power will be with us as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us nor forsake us, that he may incline our hearts unto him to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, which he commanded our fathers, which you see our people returning to. All right. So with that, with us returning to the law, statutes and commandments and to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, the true names of the Most High and His Son. All right, through this, the Lord is hearing our prayers and supplications and seeing this on the earth. So, what is He going to do? He's going to be a man of His word, and He's going to save us, man. Scripture tells you that. That's why we have to continue to push the word and continue to 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 walk in the ways to the best of our abilities of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You see. First Kings eight fifty nine and let these words wherewith I have made supplication before the Lord be nigh unto Yahweh our power, day and night that He maintain the cause of His servant and the cause of His people Israel at all times as the matter shall require, that all the people of the earth may know that Yahweh is the Most High and that there is none else. And what the world is figuring out is that our God that's doing this, all right, 
whether they want to say it or believe it or not, man, our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, is stirring up things on the planet and making things chaotic as we preach the word and downfall of the heathen nations, man. It's terrifying to them, man. But to us, this is our salvation. And it's key, man. All right, that's why the Lord said, push the word until thou make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay? Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, is behind us. The Lord said, I will be with you. All right, King Solomon prayed for us. King Moses prayed for us, man. We are actually, <laughs> we are actually in a very, very beautiful position, man. We are at the end, and this time we win, as Elder Yashuamba likes to say, man. We win, okay? First Kings 8 and 60. That all the people of the earth may know that Yahweh is the Most High and that there is none else. And this is what we're hoping when the Lord returns in his glorious state. Verse 61, let your heart therefore be perfect with Yahweh our power to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. And that's what we are doing to the best of our ability. We are walking in the ways of our forefathers and practicing the righteous acts here in the land of drawn waters, man. And from that, man, we receive hope and pray and give supplication to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua in hopes of salvation out of this place when he returns, man. Because we know he's returned. We can't stop anything. The Lord has <laughs> the Lord has a, a plan in these last days for the destruction of uh the wicked. And we hope to be in his uh, on his good side when he comes and returns in his glorious state with the angels, man. Alright. He's gonna be sent to save the nation of Israel. But our job is to continue pushing this truth because now us by us pushing it, we're, we're showing the Lord that we want to speed things up, man. All right. Which is why I keep quoting that scripture. I keep quoting the scripture. Uh, we have to do this until uh, we're made a praise in the earth. And that's what we're, we're, we're on. Uh, we're on the road to, man. All right. So we don't have anything to worry about. We've been prayed for according to the scriptures. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying. I don't want to make it too long. You know, the spirit had it going a little bit longer than you than I wanted to. But, you know, that's the spirit. But uh, I want to end it by giving all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling one of the scriptures. And salutations to Yahweh across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Bible ball.